Well, it was begun uh, by national during the last parliament. Thank you. Um, I call the Honourable Tracy Martin. Kia ora, Mr Chair. Thank you very much. I rise to take a call on behalf of New Zealand First on the Telecommunications New Regulatory Framework Amendment Bill. Um, and just a quick call really about um, section 232A in part one, which um, uh, when I took the first call on this bill under the uh, previous parliament and um, drew the parliament's attention to the removal of any obligation by chorus in the unbundling of um, the bitstream access and the unbundling of the copper low frequency service to so the removal of the requirement for them to meet their obligations specified in the TSO instructions. At that time there was no other a description of what the TSO instruments were and so I went away to have a look inside another piece of legislation which highlighted the fact and I made the point that the TSO um, is primarily a consumer protection mechanism that ensures the availability and affordability of basic communication services in New Zealand. And one of those is the KiwiShare or the 111 um, calling ability. Now, when we decide to, um, when we, we, and we have, we've moved on, it is a new time, a new day, and we're basically uh, moving away from the copper network. But what this does is, of course, make certain of our citizens vulnerable to um, to having a lack of communication available to them to call 111 emergency services should there be a power outage. Um, I understand it was discussed at the Select Committee, uh, but no amendment was made to the original piece of legislation. And so I want to commend the Minister and thank him very much um, for in the SOP that he has on the table there, inserting new section 232A into clause 33, to require the Commission to make, um, this was in the previous Parliament, sir, so I wasn't in that cabinet, you were, um, uh, to make the Commission 111 contact code the code. So the purpose of the code is to ensure that in the event of a power failure, vulnerable consumers have reasonable access to means to contact the 111 emergency services. So. As I say, we're particularly pleased that uh, the Minister and the Chair has picked up on this uh, very important issue for what, uh, uh, particularly in my area, I know I've been contacted by local residents who, uh, particularly in the elderly area, who don't always have a mobile phone or um, credit, etc. And this was the uh, the select committee decided that the cost of this change could be passed on to the consumer, um, and that wasn't appropriate from a New Zealand First perspective. So we worked with uh, collegially and constructively with the minister and the chair to make sure that there has been this section where there is a responsibility on the telecommunications companies to identify vulnerable consumers and to supply them with an appropriate means for contacting the 111 emergency services that can be operated for a specified minimum period in the event of a power failure. We think that this now addresses the, the uh, concerns that we raised and we want to acknowledge the Minister for doing so. Um, I call Melissa Lee. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair. Um